I spent um, the summer being a learner instead of a teacher, and that was a very different role for me. It's made me a braver teacher, I think, than before. Not only has this program been a great way to get some hands-on experience and learn what's actually being done out there in the scientific world, it lets us bring that back to our classroom, but it also gives us a chance to really change up our lessons and make them way more engaging and relevant to what students are doing. My summer experience at uh, Dr. Morgan Schaller's lab working on stable isotopes uh, helped me understand a lot more about how science is conducted, um, which allowed me, which will allow me to um, help my students understand how science is conducted. By braver, I mean not being beholden to practice problems and the, the calculations and the, the heavy stuff, the classical stuff of physics that you normally think of. It's more of problem solving and critical thinking and going through being a scientist as opposed to just doing the calculations that come with physics. This experience allowed me to show my students that learning is a lifelong journey. Discovery um, is kind of a cool process. As a teacher, it has shown me what the world has to offer. I'm a person that went to high school, straight to college, then into the education teaching field. I wanted to experience what else was out there, have the ability to talk to my students about jobs that they could get upon graduating. I was able to walk away with several weeks worth of curriculum involving how solar panels work, uh, how we make arrays, and how students can do this for a living right here locally. Well, I think that my students without this type of experience would never even know that these job opportunities are right here locally. In my classroom, I anticipate that this year there will be much more collaboration, much more problem solving, and an integration of more technology. Being able to experience that on the other side, on the business world, uh, I think it's going to give me a huge thing to bring back to the students. Uh, it's not, you know, did I get the right answer? It's did we all work together correctly to get to the best place we can. Many of the students lack the collaborative skills that they have not developed in the classroom, and so I want to focus on developing those along with a perseverance and a stick with itness kind of idea. It provided me a little enthusiasm, uh, kind of recharged the batteries working in this kind of environment. So I go back to school, kind of a little bit more fired up as a result of this experience. I think that the most valuable part of this program would be the revitalization. The exposure to the different types of resources that other companies have available to them kind of breaks you out of your own classroom a little bit. What I'm able to do is take some of the uh, complex um, research materials that I worked with this summer and translate those into usable activities for my kids so they can make that bridge, that gap. You get so used to the only things that you have access to and you start to kind of get tunnel vision. When you get experience and, and exposure to new things, um, it kind of opens up the world a little bit for you. Every student has a skill and it's getting those skills to come out and show them that they can have successes in school and make sure that they're enjoying the time that they have in school. I can see the skills transfer from unit to unit. It's not as if you've mastered one formula and then you get to the next formula and you don't know what to do. It's that you've learned what the first formula means and you can apply those same skills to the next one and the unit after that. By the end of the year, they are far more comfortable as just thinkers as opposed to previously when they were just comfortable with using a calculator. When they're coming up with results that don't quite work, they're questioning what you know why that is and what they did wrong which maybe they didn't do anything wrong it's just the way that it works and that's what science is all about you know it doesn't always work genuine learning comes from making connections for yourself for solving a problem if you are given an answer and you're given the steps to get to that answer you're going to remember the steps um, you're not going to remember what the core concept is behind that, that design problem itself. So genuine learning is really, really, um, it's kind of based around your own connections as opposed to what someone else tells you. I really think that this program is, is worthwhile. I know it's, it's difficult to take your summer and, 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 and get to work, but, but honestly, it, I couldn't have done anything better. This, this has been amazing over the last two years. You have to be able to think for yourself. You have to be able to analyze information and know what you're talking about or at least be able to reason through something. I think that everything I've done in the past two summers at the Tech Valley Center of Gravity has somehow found its way into either how I'm teaching or the projects that are revolved around it. You need to be able to figure things out on your own and I think that's what this shift in teaching for me has done is to get these students to be able to think for themselves and analyze situations even ones that they don't have any experience with.